Hello everybody, my name is Hellkaiser, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Binary Helix has settled uh, out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. Out. The Krogan group had contracted by... Uh, skip all that. Uh, we're back. We've recruited Rex and Garrus. We've done a side quest or two. And now it's time to get back to work. Uh, what all do we have to do exactly? We can keep scanning the keepers. We gotta find 20 keepers. Uh, okay, the fan, okay, missions, we need to go find Fist, he's hanging out in Korra's Den, so we need to head back to Korra's Den, okay, rapid transit, here we go, uh, I did some research, I'm still a little bit on the fence about it, I actually did watch two long plays, of Mass Effect's romances, so I could, because I know it's a big part of the series. I know people would be mad if I didn't pick one that they liked. I saw both Garrus's romance all the way through, and uh, Liara's romance. And I actually read some fan comments, and that you would be surprised. You probably wouldn't if you played the game, but if you've not played a lot of Mass Effect, you'd be surprised how much people will defend some of these romances. You know, as what is canon, what is the best romance for which characters. I personally thought that Garrus's romance was one of the more interesting ones I saw uh, from all the way through, especially by the time it gets to the third game. Now, in the second game, I don't feel like it's really nothing particularly that great. There's some funny moments, but I, I think it's kind of short. I think that for that reason, we will go with Liara's romance, simply because she is in all three games, and a commenter, a couple of commenters really brought it to my attention. Uh, she is like the the main, the secondary protagonist of the series. I never thought of it before, but she really is. She's in, in spoilers for the whole series. She's essential to getting stuff done. For example, she's the one who actually finds Shepard's corpse uh, and brings him back from the dead, or you know, sends him off to the people to, or him or her off to the people to be reborn. And they have really, you know, she's very essential to the plot of the first game. And so it seems like she's kind of the one that would be the most important simply due to the fact that she is uh, that important to the first game and the second game. She's you're, she's Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and you need her to help track down Benezia, and then you need her like for a different part. This knows what the hostile spot Dang! Not the worst thing I've ever seen happen in a bar, believe it or not. I know this shotgun is not optimal, but I don't give a crap, it's a shotgun. Ow. Cover me. Okay, this shotgun is not doing me no favors here. Yeah, acid spitting assault rifle, much better. Okay, what kind of powers do I have? Allows you to fire burst of assault rifle fire without overheating. Okay, let's do this. Yippee ki yay! Okay, that did not do much. Uh. Oh yeah, I don't have anybody now to heal me. Oh well, the best medicine is fire superiority. I don't think so. This game is not that difficult, especially in this early segment. You wanna stick your head out? Nope. Okay. Yippee ki yay, that went quite well. Okay, what did we get in terms of equipment? A new weapon, Scimitar 3. Okay. New shotgun that's... Okay, I thought we got something that said Scimitar 3. Still have no other armor. Okay. Okay, so I didn't get nothing then, did I? Could have swore I got a different weapon. Oh well. Stay 
Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh... I can't believe that actually works, since I always have my fist. gun draw. It doesn't pay us enough for this. Smart people, though. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. No, but it is the quickest way of getting through some of the crap. Crap. There we go. There we go. Now there's got to be something in here of some use to me. Apparently there does not have to be anything in here that's of any use to me. I am going to have to buy some armor or something. Okay, I spoke too soon. I thought my shield regeneration would have been a little bit quicker there. I, I was a little bit wrong. Where does it take me? Oh, back here. Do I have to do that whole fight over again? Uh, I think so, because my shotgun is drawn, so I better have my rifle ready. Looks like it's shut down. Yep. This knows we're coming. My health regenerates, but just not super quickly. There we go. Okay, oh I put my gun away. Not what I wanted to do then. There we go. That's two. Now let's be ready for the next round. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Okay, how do I get warehouse workers? I can't. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I just killed fifty bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh. There we go. Shoot X people. is the button to speed up the dialogue. Good. There we go. Equipment. Is there anything here? One more time, double check, because I'd hate to be walking around with a weapon or something that isn't no good. Okay. Override that save. There we go. Get ready to rock and roll. Okay, that's your name. Oh crap, get down. Oh crap, I'm getting... Where's the cover? Because I thought that I could, you know, do what normal people would have done there and duck behind the couch, but apparently that's not cover enough. Okay, he's got some sort of, like, biotic power. Crap. Oh crap. Got shield. There we go, got both the turrets taken down. Wait, there we go. Don't kill me, I surrender. Tell me where the quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody deals with Shadow Broker face to face, I don't think. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. 
Good thing it's so close. Them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The he had a job. Paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I respect. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. No need to quarrel about it anyway. Okay. Crap. Go, go, go. Okay, got some upgrades there. Anything else in here? Equipment. Okay, I got some upgrades. I, what all do I have equipped to this weapon? Recoil dampener, heat absorption, weapon stability. Heat absorption seems like a pretty good thing to have. For my shotgun, I don't have anything equipped to it. Uh, I think weapon stability would be the best thing to put on a shotgun. Uh, recoil dampener, level one. We gotta put the secondary recoil dampener on it. Okay, it's going. And empty that first. And then put this on my shotgun. Okay, motorized joints, physics, smash damage. Okay, I guess motorized joints. Okay. okay, I've got a saver in four minutes, so let's rock and roll. And there's a lot more bad guys out here. Let's do this. Okay, now's the time to bust out the fully auto assault rifle. Okay, go, go, go. Rock and roll. Whoa! Dang. That almost did not end well for me. Okay, I think that for now, until I get some better upgrades, my shotgun's kind of useless. I can see why maybe just using a pistol or an assault. The assault rifle is the best weapon in this game, and the sniper rifle when necessary. When what I say when necessary, the lower markets continue. Okay, I don't... Which way am I supposed to go? I guess up here. This is the only door I can open. I do like how they don't let you get lost. Go, go, go. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Okay, and... Full auto. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Okay, crap, my gun's overheated. The switch. There we go, we got the bastard. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. I took care Don't of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. Okay, I didn't mean to be to so the hateful embassy. there. I guess I should have known Your bottom option. Will want to see this anyway. Okay, I wanted to scan that keeper while I was there, but okay. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. 
When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Okay. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Sounds like hard way to li get to live in. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's that sounds cool. voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Wipes the Reapers the hunted games. the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. You know, the Reapers were the coolest aspect of this game, simply because you spend two games waiting for them to come, and then in the third game, you know, it would have been a cool fight, but nobody, I don't care what you say about extended cut endings, maybe Shepard lives, and all that, all the endings were crap, you know, I, I get that in some ways she was, might, might have been meant to die, but when the developers themselves say they're being rushed, you know, that's generally a good indication that the ending was not the way they wanted it to. As much as I would like to see a new Mass Effect, I think I already said this, where you get to play as the different races, like the Krogan or the Turians, I can understand maybe not doing the Quarian. I mean, the, you know, the Krogan. But, you know, some of the more normal races that you see that are kind of humanoid, uh, I would like to see maybe a continuation of Shepard's story one last time. Uh, you know, maybe not so major of a threat, but essentially just the old dog getting back out and showing that she can do some new tricks getting back together and then giving her an ending to her story that people would like you know i'm not saying you have to make it so yeah her and and garris or tolly or liara or any of the other characters go off have a little family and in the day although you know if that's what people want i'd say give the fans what they want honestly in this case because the ending was so bad there's not much you can do the vision on eden prime I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. I don't think they'll believe it. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. Man, you can barely see her for him. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. 
I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Instead of being so negative, Seren which... is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Instead of being so negative, because I didn't mean to be so hateful with Ashley, even though I didn't like her, I don't care because it's Ashley. Some of these negative options just don't sound like me, and as much as I'm going to go for the renegade path out of fun, I'm not going to be just this a-hole through the entire game, so I'm just going to start answering how I would. I'll take all the help I can Besides, get. Besides, I like Tolly. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, Garrus. Uh. Okay, so he's combat. She's tech. Uh, no, he's a little bit by. I'll take tech all the way because I'm the muscle. I don't really need many biotics. Uh, I never had a lot of problems with Tali as a character. I never really played a whole heck of a lot of her. Okay. Ooh. Hammerhead rounds on the sniper rifle. That's going to be some damage. Uh, you know, I thought she was an okay character. I haven't played her romance. I have seen it, though. And I thought it was a decent idea. I thought, honestly, her and Garrus had two of the mo more unique romances in the game. Simply because they talk about the different physiology of aliens and human species. Stuff like that and how trying to interact in that kind of manner is not exactly always easy. In the case of Garrus, it's just because, I mean, look at him, he's a dinosaur, an alien form, essentially. And Tali's case, it's because, in case you're not a fan of Mass Effect and you don't know, the reason, oh crap, don't, I don't want to pull my gun on her. Uh, the reason she wears that face mask is because she's got, her species are like, not adapted to most other climates. Let's put it that way. They're unlike the, the Turians and the Krogan and the Asari, all these races that can just breathe air from all these planets just like we can with no problems whatsoever. Uh, they can't for whatever reason. I don't remember the exact reason. Maybe it says something like in the Codex. Yeah, uh, I don't need to know about... Uh, I just want to know about the actual... The... Shut up. Don't read it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say exactly. Yes, it, some people think they're cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts. The cool thing about her story is because you do never see her face. You only see her eyes and her nose a little bit through her face mask. And you think, you know, that's going to be a cool reveal if one day you ever get to see her face. And if you do, go through the romance... You go all that way through... Because you can't romance her in the first game because for some reason they didn't think that humans would want to screw anything that moves. That's the first weird thing that sci-fi writers... They clearly, they never saw Captain Kirk. Uh, but if you go through the romance from the second game and the third game and you think, okay, it's time to finally see her face, what do you get for all of your effort? A stock photo of some British... I think she was a British supermodel. Photoshopped. To look blue, essentially. And that was it. Which, honestly, it didn't bother me as much as it did some people that it was a stock photo. But it would have been nicer to have, like, you know, especially because it's the romance subplot that she takes her helmet off. If she took her helmet off, you know, personally in front of us, you know. I'm not saying she had to have a full-blown sex scene without it on, but... It would have been nice if in a moment before the final battle or anything, she's like, okay, I'm going to die anyway. Pull a Luke uh, and Darth Vader and take the mask off of anything like that. I would have been happy to see that. But nope, you never get to see it. They did change the photo, though, uh, to a more zoomed out picture where you can barely see her face even more. Which, take that as you may. There's no winning with that. Okay, so now, what do we do? Okay, I got four points here. Put a point in my shotguns. Because I need accuracy with those things. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and unlock sniper rifles. There we go. Okay, who else has points?
There we go. Get assassination for him. Put a point in decryption. And put a point in first aid. There we go. Because he's going to be like my source of health. Okay, crap, I'm stuck. Okay, I guess we go back to the thing now. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put points in her. Okay, so pistols and shotgun sort of thing is her. Electronics. Another shotgun. There we go. Might not be the best distribution of points in the world, Excuse but that's how it is. Commander Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I'm telling you, some of the hairs just don't look right. His hair just looks like it's one piece that was modeled and applied to him. But yet, when you look at some of these ladies' hair, it still kind of looks like that one piece. But it does look like they spent a little bit more time to model individual strands. They're kind of loose, see what I mean, on her hair. I don't see why it seems like they didn't spend as much time fixing up some as they did others. Okay. Expensive bar over there. Which one's the expensive bar over there? Okay, I'm guessing this is it. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her Man, his hair really does look like plastic. any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nirali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. It isn't right. You know who and what I am. If I want Nirali Bhatia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How do you think I feel about people mistreating the dead? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. See, being kind of a jerk like that there fits, in my opinion, because especially with the background I chose of her surviving uh, a cat, a, a coos. That's how you pronounce it, a coos. Uh, you know, she'd be very protective, I would imagine, and very defensive about people that she's lost, I would imagine. And I, so I can see her, you know, being on the side of this person very well. What the heck is that? Oh, leaves. And so I think that that would be the best way Hello to handle again, that. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. There we go. Got it done. Okay, uh, let's see. That's to Seasuck Academy, to Citadel Tower. Actually, I think we will take the long way around this time, simply because we're not 
in such a hard way of going as we were before. And I want to see if I encounter any other side quests like that. Okay, that's the embassies. It's been a while since I've done this, so I'm a little bit, what do you call it, out of practice. And plus, I want to see more of the world, too. Told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Okay. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? See, there should have been a few more species kind of creepy looking like that. I mean, they did have a few, but I never felt like the aliens were odd enough looking. Which, of course, if you're going to romance them, those kinds, they should have kept normal like they did. But some of the other aliens, especially species that you encounter, never seem that different. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Okay, I don't have enough. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? You still wouldn't leave. Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. There. Just... 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar. I don't know what these things are, to help I spread the truth but I the just don't even start in a fight. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. And I didn't gain no Paragon or Renegade. That's good. You see, I don't want to confuse real-world issues. I don't even want to discuss them because I'm afraid of the YouTube al algorithms. But if you live in America, uh, or even just anywhere else in the world, and you've seen the news, man, the frame rate just dipped from 165 to 70. Now it's resting at 153. Now it's back down to 100. What the heck just happened to the frame rate? Okay. Anyway, you know, if more people would take the time to try to fix the issues in ways like that, I think there'd be a lot less problems just in general on, you know, in our society. It might sound kind of stupid, and I'm not even certain that in some ways you can always uh, fix issues that way, but if more people, if more people tried to do stuff like that, before it escalated, I think the, the whole situation would be much better. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. There. Got some experience. Okay, that's to the financial district. Where do I actually go to get to Citadel Tower? Okay, so the way I actually was going. Okay, what else do I need to do? Please do not disturb the keepers. Very well. Well, I can apparently talk to her. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. 
The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Okay, so just That's all for now. Thank Did I gain you for using for that? Avina. Have a pleasant day. No, but it's just on my map. Maybe I was supposed to hit investigate on something, but I'm not that interested. What did she go huh for? The keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. I always thought that, you know, Tali and them were cool characters, but I never really was able to really get into her story. Mainly because, you know, whenever I first played the game as Male Shepherd, I picked, uh, Liara. And then second off, it's just because the idea of, like, a, a space gypsy type never really suited me. They never made her wonderlust, I guess, enough to make her, like, an interesting character. Uh, which I get because she's just out to do one thing and then she goes home. But if I was them, I would have made it so, like, you know, okay, man, my frame rate is dipping again. Maybe it's just because it's me, but I would have done something along the lines of make it so... How do you word this? I'm trying to think. Uh... Okay. Their pilgrimage was like a longer journey, like, of the self sort of thing. And, you know, like, they had to do something to make themselves just grow up, essentially. And she didn't want to grow up. And she just wanted to explore, and then kind of pulled like a Tears in the Rain speech. You know, not to the that degree, but you know, talking about how I've seen all this stuff. And, and going to a speech about all the amazing stuff she saw. I think I would have enjoyed her character far better than more as an explorer type. You know, as a want, like properly as a wanderer, but not someone who's lost type thing. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Okay. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. View non-human armors, view standard items, view upgrade. Okay, I wish I had some human armors. Okay, man, that's some expensive stuff, yep. Unique item. Okay, that's only $100, so I'll take that. Man, I didn't realize I was so low on money. Oh, do I have heavy armor? Yes, I do. Okay, what weaker stuff do I have? Okay, uh, except. Okay, anything I have two of, essentially, I'm just gonna sell for the extra money right now. There. So how much do I have now? 108. So I got a little more than I had, essentially. Okay, anything else here? The Krogan rebelled against the Council, yet they have a statue on the Citadel. And we Quarians still live as outcasts. Probably. Well, I guess I actually would like to know about this because I forgot exactly Welcome why they're not like other than the Jennifer H. Like. Here in the final. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, Several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. So it's That's all of for what now. They did in Thank you war. for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Now, here's something I was. I, I don't mean to make this political, especially about today's stuff. It's amazing how a game's 13 year, well, 15, 14 years old, uh, is so relevant to stuff by today's standards. Uh, it's amazing how old war heroes, you know, people don't like them. Some of, some races aren't particularly happy with the statue. 
yet somehow it's managed to stay standing. That's more than we can do in some places. I'm, I personally don't believe... You know, it's... It, the only reason you should take down a statue of a war hero is if we no longer are owned by the... You know, we're the same country, pretty much. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't believe you should change things just because you can. You know what I mean? Or because it's no longer relevant. What that person did at their time was relevant. And at that time when it was put up, people thought it was relevant. Okay, where the heck am I now? Am I even in the right place? Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected I think I'm in the wrong today. place. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I'm in the wrong place. I think place. I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return. Nelina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I was oh, just I've thinking... accidentally triggered a side quest. I was just, I stumbled in the wrong yes, building. Yes, of course, mistress. Okay. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What, what? does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. Well, when I see a blue alien chick, you know, sashaying off, I'm going to have to chase it. <laughs> Face is better than a catch. What exactly is the freaking consort? Do I have anything? I don't remember all this. You're talking about a series I played freaking three of. I don't remember every single thing. The of combat. Don't care. The Okay, nothing here, so I'm just gonna have to roll with this. I'm actually gonna drop a save so I don't do nothing stupid. There we go. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What do you want? I don't know. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I'm guessing she's some sort of problem madam. Use your expertise. At least it sounds like it. What is it? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. So we had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What, what, what happened wrong? between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay, but I like to know someone's gonna pull a gun what out. What exactly on me. do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Okay, is this that side quest now where... Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Is this the side quest where if you say that you're not up good with the money, you get laid? I think so, I'm not certain. I heard people say they removed that quest. I don't even remember if this is the same one or not. Like I said... I haven't played the original Mass Effect since about three years ago, and I didn't finish it all the way through then. I played through this game though three times, and at a certain point, it all blends together. Uh, you know, I can't tell you exactly everything that happens in a 20-hour game in Mass Effect. You know, that's the problem when when you have a bigger game. You end up having a small attention span to a lot of the things unless they're really impressive, like. I think that's why more people remember stuff like uh, the romances and stuff, because you can easily look up... The longest one is a three-hour video, and that would be Liara's. I think that technically Caden and Ashley's maybe are four. Hello there! Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. I need... You want okay, many just... Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. I just Very need good. human armors, pretty much. Okay, that's... Assault rifle. Too much money, good lord. Okay, get that license. Increases maximum units of meta gel by one. Can't afford another one. Okay, anything else I can buy around here? Is there a human vendor? Anything like that? 
All I know is these licenses essentially let you get better stuff uh, when you're on the Normandy. And now I got an extra meta gel, so that's pretty decent. When I first played this game as a kid, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I never went to the shops. And I, thought, I don't think I ever really picked up anything. So I went through the whole game playing on normal mode with pretty much like the starter weapons. Uh, maybe a couple of different upgrades on it, and that was about it. I, I never really had much. It's amazing how I just murdered about 20 people, roughly, maybe 30, if I'm highballing it. And this place is already back to normal, including blue alien strippers and bartenders and all that. No sign of dead bodies anymore. Arkin's still sitting in his place. Okay, where's the Turian general? Uh, would that be him? There he is. Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? <laughs> Clearly you've not been around, me. my friend. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Uh, is it worth it? Is she it? really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Uh, I don't mean to threaten the General here, but... Never let the enemy see your weakness. There we go, you it's know not a that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her, but now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. Finally. I'm glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her, after I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why me? Why can't you tell him yourself? Well... The last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where to? Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers. Acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Never lived to see it, brother. You know, that's the thing, though. You'd think by the third game, she stopped... She saved the whole council and became a specter. She stopped the collectors. You know, they give Congressional Medals of Honor for people clearing out trenches in World War One and stuff like that single-handedly. You'd think... Sending in a team on a suicide mission, especially if you don't let a single soldier die, if you get the best ending for Mass Effect 2, uh, they should start calling her General. I never un understood why they start call just kept calling her Commander Shepard. Okay, uh, to the embassies. Again, sorry we're not doing a lot of official content. We've done a little bit of it, but there's a lot of side quests and stuff, and it's better just to go ahead and do them while I'm here. You know, rather than have to come back later. Uh, because, like I said, I'm not going to go for 100% completion run. Can I even see how much I have done in terms of the game? No. There's no way of actually showing me my percentage of completion, I don't think. Maybe on the map. Well, not this map, but I, you know, I, you'd think there'd be some way of like showing how close you are to a full save file type thing. Okay, I don't think it- this is the Udina's office, isn't it? I think so. 
Okay, there's Hello Zelda. there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. That's why I'm I've come here. to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. I gotta see what a this consort is. This is difficult is, exactly. to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. A consort is a wife, husband, or companion in the particular spouse of a reigning monarch. Habitual associate with someone and typically with disapproval of others. Okay, that's when it's a verb. So a partner, a companion, so a prostitute. Let's just let's just call it what it is. <laughs> uh deal with it. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. You know... Thankful. Hang on. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Okay. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Oh, stick it up here, whatever that sure. suit is. Anyway, um, uh, I get that the Asari have that whole mono, uh, gender thing where they're not technically male or female and they don't have to couple, I guess is how you'd put it, in traditional ways, but, you know, why, do, <laughs> why don't we get an explanation for that? They spend a lot of time, like, I actually, like I told you, I saw Garrus's whole romance, and you can actually talk to Morden in, uh, Mass Effect 2, and sit there, and he will go into great detail about Turian human interaction, and what to do, and what not to do, and stuff like that, and it's honestly kind of funny, uh, and, uh, I thought it was one of the, the better parts of that particular uh, romance, just because it's funny. The whole thing is very in, you know, endearing, I guess would be the word. Yep, I'd like to hear some more stuff like that. Because it's kind of really funny. Okay, so yeah, this is like a brothel. Of course, it's that they're wearing more clothes. Uh, we've had prostitutes for a long time. It's the oldest profession on our world Commander, for a reason. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. No problem. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Very. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You know, Bioware and EA specifically should have taken more of that to line. Yeah, I think if you say that's it, this is where you get the um, hidden scene. Thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander.
I wonder how many Asari have mind probed her throughout the entire series. Or is this. Yeah, I think this is the sex scene, I'm not certain. Yeah, it is. Uh, so is Garrus and Tali just sitting there for that? Uh, I've heard people say they removed that, Here so now you know they didn't. In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Thank you. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember okay. my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Yeah, uh, were you two just, uh... Uh... We never discuss it. So, yeah, but now you and me, the audience, will discuss it. I've heard a lot of people say they actually removed that scene. And I think now you can clearly see they did not remove that scene. Is that supposed to be a female Solarian? I don't think I've ever seen a female Solarian. So essentially, these ladies in the pink are prostitutes, or consorts, you can call it whatever you want. This is what I never understood about this game, though. Clearly, the sexy blue aliens are sexy blue aliens. Uh, but then you have them as warriors, and you have them as explorers, and they're the first species to ever actually find this whole place. Y do you see what I kind of mean, though, when you think of it from that kind of perspective, I guess is what you'd call it? Uh, it seems like a strange thing to think, okay, you have a species here that literally Bioware themselves said only created in order to have the bisexual blue alien thing tipped off the box. That was their whole, you know, creation purpose. And yet they kind of made them too unique, you know what I mean? Like, well, some people would say that there's no skirting around this, is there? You're going to get people saying to me, well... You know, it's not right to say that just because they're hot and they like to get laid that they can't be smart. And you're not wrong. But at the same time, when you have all these different alien species, it would have been more interesting to have a species that only is focused on mating and reproduction kind of things. And kind of be just the more, you know, pro what's the word, provocative, I guess, race in the game. But they kind of make them a little bit too smart. Or have them be like a more... Have the Krogan kind of race and the Asari race be kind of combined. Like, think like an Amazon sort of chick. Like these very sexual blue alien race. But yet they're very strong warriors. And some there's like the, the more sexually free type ones. And then there's the more very reserved battle-hardened warrior types. That aren't as easy to give of themselves, let's put it that way. Uh, I think that they could have done a little bit more with them and took off another race, you know? Well, I'm not saying generally cut more races, but it would have made a more... You know, when you have too many, you can spread the, the butter a little too thin and not have enough substance for all the characters, and you could eliminate a couple of races and have the whole thing be a little bit more uh, baked, I guess you'd put it. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Again, we got a meeting awful fast. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Okay, now we're up here on a platform. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Another she must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? 
trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake. See what I mean? This council just this serves to be argumentative. We proved Saren betrayed the council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. You don't need to take no chances, though. Either way, the guy is bad. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will Okay, we're at our hour mark. We need to hurry Saren up. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Same old Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. Of course, they have to cut him off. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require- Am I watching a Medea movie now? No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. All right, we're we're going to be a specter now. Watch how important that actually is, because it's not really. Okay, we got two achievements: Turian ally and Quarian ally. I didn't know we completed five missions with Tali. I figured we completed about five with Garrus, but I didn't it know we'd done five missions in this episode. Granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. I'm not stupid enough to be a... We're sending you into the... You know, there is certain said. times when He's formality is justice, needed. So you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. There's no point saying any leads. I know they ain't got any leads. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. One thing I never understood, though, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, Congratulations, we have Commander. never seen got any got other specters, have we, other than to need a ship, a Niles crew, to get spies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Okay. Anyway, back to my initial question. Uh, I don't think I we ever see many of them. would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Okay, Spectre bonus. Now we can upgrade, and we got two Renegades. Uh, okay, so do I have any new equipment before I go? I don't think so. I still can't wear the heavy armor. Uh, no squad points, but now I do have Spectre training, which will let me restore... I want to put points in that so I can resurrect my dead squad members, which is really helpful. Uh... But now I can upgrade my Intimidate, which is what I'm definitely going to be doing. Because uh, I like to intimidate enemies. And then we're going to get that last point in Assault Rifles. So we have Advanced Overkill. Put our points in our Sniper Rifles. 
and then that's about I'm going to focus on Intimidate, Soldier, and then the rest of that. But I do want to go ahead and start putting some more points in uh, Combat Armor. So we got a lot of things we actually need to start putting points in. But either way, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I do feel like I got plenty done in that one. And I hope I was able with that one scene to prove that they didn't... You know, a lot of people were worried that there was going to be a lot of censorship. Because they mentioned taking out one scene where they showed Miranda's butt in a picture. A lot of people thought that meant that there was, going to, there was a lot of rumors going around that there was going to be a lot of scenes taken out of the game uh, and reworked. Well, that should prove that at least one that people claimed was not there is there. Uh, at this point, this game will have been out probably a couple months almost by the time I get this video uploaded, or at least a month, give or take. Uh, either way, there should be enough information on the internet within two or three days of the game launching to be able to prove for yourselves if you're worried about what was cut or censored. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your evening.